Welcome to the Freyer model, which is a math vocabulary strategy. So Frederick Freyer is the author of the Freyer model that uses a graphic organizer for vocabulary building. This technique is used to define target vocabulary words or concepts and then applies the information by finding examples or non-examples. The benefits of the Freyer model is that it, it promotes critical thinking. It helps the student identify and understand unfamiliar vocabulary. It can be used with the whole class, groups, or one-on-one. -on -one. Uses the background knowledge of the student and builds connections with the new concept and creates a visual concept. So what you're going to be learning in this one is that you will pre-select the key list of key vocabulary from your lesson. You'll hand out the graphic organizer to each student, one graphic organizer for each word. You'll explain the Freyer model to the students. You'll guide the students in the first couple words and how to use the graphic organizer. And then you'll model the type of desired answers that you're looking for. So in my class, we're learning about fractions. And I have found four words that will help them learn the concept of fractions. So each student or group of students should have a math book, a pencil, a Chromebook with a, a resource, dictionary resource on it, or an actual dictionary. When you hand out the graphic organizer, each student should have one worksheet for each word they will be working on. So explain to the students, they'll be learning a new way to think about vocabulary words. They will be using a graphic organizer to look at and think about words in a new way. You can ask the students if they've ever used a graphic organizer. Make sure the students understand that the graphic organizer is used to arrange information in a way to help them understand how to connect their known knowledge to these new concepts we'll be learning. Review the vocabulary words or concept list with the students before they begin the lesson. You can break up a list if it's too long among the groups. You can explain the Freyer model has four different squares that will help the students think about a word in four different ways. You can have the students read the headings and then ask them what will be written in each section. The middle section will write, they will write one of the new words from the list of vocabulary vocabulary you will give them. So as you begin writing on your smart board on a whiteboard in front of them, instruct the class to follow along writing exactly what you write in, in each section. I found with the online dictionary, students can find the word, hear it spoken, see the definition, and learn synonyms or examples. So here we have found one of the words I put down is denominator, and that one in the middle circle. The next one was the definition, and we found that it's a noun, and then the definition of the, the word denominator. The next one is uh, the facts or characteristics of the word denominator. And here's examples. And you see me pointing to the bottom, the bottom number, which is the no denominator. And here's non-examples. Zero cannot be a denominator, and of course, the seven is actually the numerator. So after you've modeled this, the students can continue on their own in groups or one-on-one -on -one with the remaining words or concepts. And you can work with um, the students that need the help the most, obviously, one-on-one. -on -one. I've included the graphic organizer that I used.